Yo, this is my day 13, man. My infomercial type deal. Got a couple things to touch base on. Look, you can't let bad things get you down. Um, I got a flat tire on the way to work last night. Cool. I don't have a jack in my car because I got a flat tire on the new car a couple days ago. Cool. I drive, put my spare on, borrow a jack. Drive, put my spare on, drive it home. Go to help a buddy take them all. Need to take a shower, get clean real quick. Cool. I pull into my driveway. What do you know? My spare has gone flat that I just put on the car. So now it's time to change the tire again. So again, I don't have a jack. Uh, I found some plugs. I was able to plug the other tire that I brought off. Uh, it had a little hole in it. I fixed it. But now I had to go borrow another jack and an air compressor to pump up the tire that I just plugged because I don't have that stuff. So I'm over the y'all should see it. I'm walking through the streets down my down my street in the morning at like 8:30, 9 o'clock, looking for somebody to help me out. I found what I needed because God will come through if you continue to love and praise Him. So that, that was my uh, my tire adventure I had. Uh, also, I need to uh, I'm not gonna tell you my story today because I need to address an issue that I had last night. When, uh, <coughs> went and jumped up a, a Facebook prayer team. I'm going to try to start this thing in the evenings. Uh, every night I'm going to pray, man. But, uh, you know, one of my friends up in here in Elkhart, they got at uh, another one of my buddies uh, back home where I grew up. And, uh, you know, he, he, flipped the, he flipped the lid just because some words she wrote, man. She's just, she just messing around, you know. She's doing what she do. She's, that's how she is. Um, I felt real bad, you know, because, you know, I don't want nobody that, you know, we're sitting there praying and stuff to feel attacked. But we can't judge people, man, for, you know, text coming in, for something we have no control anyway to throw a text up in there. Um, Y'all need to know, man, I'm not, I'm not perfect. Uh, I make mistakes, and uh, nobody, nobody is perfect. So, yeah, man, you can't put, you, you can't put judgment upon somebody else unless you're able to throw that first rock. You know what I mean? If you're able to throw the first rock because you ain't sin upon them, then you go ahead and do it, man. Because I... I guarantee that none of you can. Everybody's got their evil, dark secrets. Now, when you've accepted Christ, you need to be patient and diligent in what you do and in what you say. Because you got to understand, um, if you're, if you're you know, proclaiming the faith, if you're out there and you're repping, and you're saying the things you're saying, your heart and your words need to be the same. I, I gotta admit that my actions sometimes the way wrong and sometimes I don't do what I'm supposed to, but like I said, we're all human. These are the little steps that we all need to take to, to progress in our faith, to progress in the love of Christ so we can show it uh, to other people instead of just, you know, being the way we used to be because, you know, most everybody has just been stubborn the whole life. I mean, it's, you know, there's a couple exceptions here and there that skate through that are able to just be alright, but most everybody's just a little thick-headed, bro. They gotta learn the hard way. I mean, a lot of people are like that. Um, so yeah, so still stick with me, man. This is, you know, my Jay Worley TV, bro. Uh, 30 Red 1000 uh, at YouTube. You check it out. You type in that in that search engine there, boy. You get all my vids. Got some of me and my son, all my day vids. You know, we, we can make this thing take off, bro. I just need nothing but support and love. crazy with a K, man. You need to update that Facebook, bro. You need to be friends again, bro. Just because some, somebody else is texting. No reason to delete me because uh, what she was saying to you, dog. You know what I mean? Be real to me first before you just, you know, diss me like that. That kind of hurts my feelings, bro. Because I ain't done nothing to you. I've been, you know what I mean? I've been on your, your team since I got back in touch with you, man. So, you may think I'm lame. You may think, you know, I'm not allowed to hang out with certain people.
understand and stick with it that this man named Jesus he loves us so much and he will never quit this Jesus is inside of me So understand what it is we're trying to pursue Which is all getting rid of this negativity Yeah man Yeah man